What is up guys? So all my videos nowadays are kind of just uploaded at different times. Um, they're kind of out of place a little bit, depend well, a bit. But I've been doing a lot. Um, I don't really show like much of like the stuff I get anymore. Because I feel like a lot of people got tired of that. Of just me like getting parts, you know, just putting on my car or whatever and um, and then I end up selling it because a lot of people don't understand the concept or or not concept but flipping parts. So most of the time I do buy a lot of stuff, I get it for cheap and I end up flipping it. Uh, that's why sometimes you don't see me rock it for so long, I'll just buy it, rock it for a bit. It'd be cool if I like it a lot then I'll keep it and then if I don't or if someone gives me a good offer, I'll sell it. Um, and that's just how it is. And most of you guys a while back knew that I had the J Blood uh, and C West kit. And the bumpers were already, was it color sanded? They're already ceramic coated for the car because when Victor uh, color sanded my whole car and ceramic coated it, he did the J Blood bumper and the C West. And also he did, he came back later on and did my SR bumpers. And yeah, so I do have the kit back. So here's the J Blood bumper. Uh, for those that don't know what this is, this is a 9698 J Blood front bumper. Uh, it looks like a 992000, but it has an integrated lip, and this right here goes back all the way back in. You guys can kind of see, I did put AC back in, in the car. So, that's the front bumper. And, here's the rear bumper, back on, C-West. And you can see my exhaust tip a lot better too. Seeker, super exhaust system. With the Mugen lip, flows really, really nice. Um, yeah, and before I didn't have this hood, I just had like the regular uh, carbon fiber hood. So with this vented hood, it looks so much more aggressive. Ooh, oh, I need to change the battery on my camera's about to die. Okay, we're back with a new battery. Um, but yeah, I. I honestly love this front bumper. I I regretted it when I sold it, and I was actually fortunate enough to get both of the bumpers back uh, for my friend. So thank you very much, Miguel. I really really appreciate it. It was hard for him to let it go because I sold it to him for like really cheap, and luckily I was able to buy it back for cheap. And the only way for me to get it back was I had to go up to his house just so he could sell it back to me. And I picked it up from Santa Maria, Napoma, California. It took. It was like a five hour drive, but driving back was four hours because driving up there, there was traffic through LA, driving back home was fine. And yeah, that was a crazy mission. Uh, huge shout outs to Lee. Thanks for, uh, you know, uh, always going with me, pick up parts. And uh, yeah, we always go bus missions far, like we'll drive like even seven hours. I think I drove six hours to pick up my Rega Masters. And uh, yeah, I don't own those anymore, but yeah, so I'm happy. Um, and one of the reasons why I actually decided to pick up the kit because I've actually been looking for new bumpers, um, not these ones, but SIR front bumper. Reason why is because this bumper is actually pretty fucked up. Like one is the fall light. Holes are cut out. I guess the previous owner used to have fog lights. Um, it had a bumper pull, so that's why I plugged it. And then it's cracked in a couple spots. Well, just the paint. You can kind of see. And it just has a. Uh, yeah, this is seen a lot of damage. Um, and the rear bumper, of course. Uh, let's see. Right there. 
You guys see that? So this bumper has been hit before by the previous owner and he decided to not fix it and repair and just painted the whole car uh, over the little damage and this bumper is a little bit pushed in a little bit right here. Uh, it's hard to see on camera but it is. So I'm looking for a fresher set of SR front rear bumper for EK Hatch. These are still good but um, it's just a fault light hose kind of bugged me. And the rear, the rear bumper too. Uh, I gotta pull this lip off but for now this is just a storage spot for them because uh, as you can see I do have a lot of shit up there. Um, I do have the Megan lip still up there. The spoon lip, I took it off of that and then it's back in the spoon box. And I threw back on a, a brand new SR front lip. These are getting hella expensive now. Really expensive. It's ridiculous on how expensive these are. And yeah, so I just threw that on just so I could just have it chill in there. Um, but minus driving five hours to pick this up, I actually did make a trip to Arizona. A lot of you guys are like, well, if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of made stories of me going up to Arizona. And yep, this is what I picked up in Arizona. A brand new in a box, Recaro SPG. Uh, it is the same exact seat that I'm running right now in my hatch. Right, same exact seat. This one is, I got this from Tan and it's super mint. And I was just randomly browsing offer up and ran across this front seat for $400. Well, $490, I low bought them to 400 bucks. So I told them I was coming from San Diego. Um, and yeah, a brand new in-box Recaro SPG. These go for roughly 1000 to 1100 bucks, depending on where you buy it from. And I got it for $400. Um, so what I was actually planning on doing today is actually putting it in the hatch. So I'll have two Recaro SPGs in there. Because I do have a leftover seat rail. Um, don't worry about this. I have to take this off because my brother uh, put these plates on because he was running. He was going to put it in his car, but I decided to buy the seat rail back from him that when I sold it to him. This was off the SPG that I sold to Sean. And yeah, we just need the brackets, which should be, yeah, they're right here. So these brackets, so I could put the Recaro on. So and it'll be a slider, so I can still gain access to the back seat. Um, but yeah, that was a mission that took five hours to get, but sometimes you have to drive to get deals and that was a deal. Uh, I spent like probably like 50 bucks on gas, so it ended up being 450 and driving for 10 hours, five hours there, five hours back, worth it. So let me pull this out and show you guys. So the story of this thing was the guy, he's a big dude and he bought this not knowing that certain Ricaros are sized by Japanese people. Well. I don't know how to explain, but so Japanese sizing. So if you get a large, and US is technically a small. And uh, luckily, I'm a tiny guy. And uh, this is a, I think a large, but it's technically only up to a 32 or 34 waist, I think. And yeah, let's pull this thing out. This thing is super light. Uh, let's see where to put this thing at. Now that is gonna fall. Let me just put that there right now, or well, for now, grab a box. Uh, Alright, this works. I would say I got a, I got lucky when I found this, on offer up. Alright, there we go. Wow, that is really nice. I've never bought a brand new seat before at all. Yeah, there we go. Brand new Recar SPG. You can tell that's never been mounted at all. Like, there's no scratches, nothing. Um, oh, wow. I can't read the Ricardo sticker. What is this? Okay, I honestly don't know what this is because I've never bought a brand new seat before. Um, 
I don't know, I figured something out about that. And it came with the label. But yeah, brand new SPG. There's the FIA sticker. Well, yeah. Um, this is manufactured in 2013. Now, certain years, I do know that... Yeah, certain years, I do know that um, they only have the fronts and they don't have the back. But luckily, this is a 2013 also. So, it's facing the front. I was going to put this one in my driver's seat so I could be the first one to fart in it. But I just decided to throw in the passenger because whatever like this one's already lined up perfectly and I just don't want to like take it back out and realign it. It's hard real like adjusting this seat sometimes because it's fixed. And damn, I think I faded too. So yeah I'm just gonna put it on the seat rail. Very easy. Um, put these on. Take off these plates. Because this is made to mount onto like flat seats or regular reclinables. So we're just gonna put those up there. There, there. And uh, maybe grab the one off my car because this one's kinda, it's kinda faded. And then uh, see what the car looks like with two recars. I was, I'm very like, I kinda don't wanna run two seats sometimes, like two buckets, because I don't have access to the back seat. But luckily these are going to be on sliders, so I can slide it up and not have to worry about anything. And hopefully I have them lining up evenly. I'm going to take off the plates, put these on. Now to um, put the bucket on. And I did find some uh, spare bolts that thread perfectly in there. There we go. Now to mount it up. Um, I know most people they'll tape it off so they don't scratch it, but uh, yeah, I don't normally do that. Just send it. Um, and I got the C for cheap, so it is what it is. This is how I have it. Uh, let's see. I will have to do some adjustments to just to make sure the holes line up in the car because. This isn't like a plate compared to like the PCI um, C rails. These ones, um, they can move in and out. So you gotta make sure it's lined up. So what I'm gonna do is uh, hand tighten it down, take out my stock seat, put this in, line it up, bolt it, well, bolt it down first, then line it up, uh, put some washers if I need it, and it should be good. Damn, I really should just put that in my freaking driver's seat. But it's like, they're all gonna fade though at one point. like. You kind of see this is purple. Oh, don't matter. Whatever, just a seat. I have it in the car. Uh, this one I just have to adjust a little bit. It's sitting a little bit lower than that one, so I'm going to adjust it up a little bit. And um, yeah, it all lines up, bolts up. So I'm going to finish tightening, tightening these nuts back here and uh, adjust it. Yeah, it should be good. That's cool. Oh, matching your recarls. You can see the passenger side a little bit lower, so let's fix that real quick. There we go. Took a little bit of adjusting. It's all there, slider works. Um, kind of sucks. I really don't have room to uh, go back here. Why do I still have that ground cable? But oh, I just gotta clean up, and I gotta take my. I had to take out my fire extinguisher. It's gonna hit the rail, so I figured something out about that. Um, but ah, that's about it. Just gotta clean up the garage again. So yeah, I just got two recarls now. Pretty cool. Um, first time having matching bucket seats. So. Uh, let's see, oh, what is it? I actually did uh, kind of clean up the AC a bit. And yeah, I need to fix that hood. That shit pops up too hard. I did clean up the AC though. Got a brand new OEM bracket. Kind of scuffed up, so I might clean it up. Clean up the lines. 
Look at that. Man. Good, good to go. Just gonna get this thing recharged on Wednesday, which is like in two days uh, when I'm off work. And uh, yeah. I'm uh, gonna put an OEM header back in also. But that's that. What the hell? Oh. Peace out, guys. All those others. That's it. Just a, uh, I don't know. Just installing a Recaro. So, peace.